What's up everybody? Coming back with uh, another quick video. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to do a little more content here um, as of late. Um, just figured I'd jump on here and do a quick, uh, quick EDC pocket dump daily carry. Um, this is uh, kind of what I carry with me all the time um, as a, I mean, it, except for this knife. This is just my work knife um, when I need to chip away at something and I don't feel like reaching for my razor blade. I just pull this out and, and uh, scrape away and pry and dig. Um, but this is the Kershaw Shuffle and it is very dirty until it's been used. Um, I did just oil it up maybe a week ago so it does still move good um, clip money clip uh, I actually just got this one in the mail yesterday I ordered this off of eBay probably it's probably been close to a month now um, but it got lost it never uh, went any further um, it, it got a uh, tracking number and that was it. <laughs> it it never even showed that it was accepted at the post office or anything um, and then I get a notification yesterday while I was at work that I had a Zippo money clip be delivered um, it looks looks brand new it doesn't look like it's ever been used I mean the the blade is looks like a original edge um, but it's got an engraving I don't know if I don't I'm sure this was probably added after the fact but it says uh, GGT 1987 and then at the bottom it's got LR but you can see it's a hopefully you can see it's a little mouse with a top hat <laughs> but when I saw it I was like gotta I gotta get that and it was only I think 450 um, and I, I want to say that included shipping. Um, I can't remember now because it's been so long. But uh, so I've got that. I like carrying those, clean my fingernails and stuff like that. Um, uh, let's pull out the big one. Um, I carry this in uh, just a, a cheap, inexpensive um, sheath slash pen holder um i got this off of amazon uh, i think you can get them for 19 dollars or something like that um they're okay uh kind of thin uh leather that they use they uh obviously didn't uh doesn't look like they they glued the seams um the stitching and the thread that they use it it's clean but uh, it's not waxed, so I don't um, I don't foresee this lasting uh, a whole lot or, or a long period of time. Um, I've worn it every day since I've gotten it. Um, I've got another one I ordered two at the same time uh, just to check them out, and I've got another one at home that I haven't even put anything in. But uh, pen. Uh, just a brass pen. I got this off of Amazon. Some, uh, I, I couldn't even tell you the name. I, I couldn't even pronounce the name. But um, it's getting a little bit of patina in there. Um, this thing was really shiny when I first got it. Um, but the uh, knife that I am carrying, I think y'all will like this one. It's a Camillus American Wildlife Series. see the bear but they've got quite a few of these uh, this is the charging bear um, got a little hair hanging out of there uh, they've got a deer I've, I've, I've got a few of these at home so I'll, I'll have to show these off um, but yeah they've, they've got quite a few a howling coyote um, eagle uh, ram elk I think there's a something that looks like an antelope I don't think we have those here. <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> um, but uh, awesome jumbo trapper is what what it it goes by. Um, and uh, look at that spade blade. I mean, this was the first jumbo trapper that I I ever ordered or bought ordered. I bought this off of eBay, but uh, I love them now. Um, and believe it or not, since I've gotten this, I hate to say it, HT, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but I haven't worn my, or carried my 112 since I got this. Um, maybe coming up close to, to three weeks ago. Um, it's just a... Uh, I sharpened it when I it's got a, a razor's edge on it now um, it actually bit me I don't know if y'all can see that I'm trying not to flip y'all off but yeah it uh, caught my caught my middle finger with that spade blade and uh, she's snappy listen Ooh, she's snappy I mean I'm trying not to push too hard but uh, yeah, she's got some snap to her. But like I said, I've, I've fallen in love with these jumbo trappers now. Um, like I said, I've, I've picked up a few of them now and they are uh, glorious pieces if, uh, if, if you haven't picked one up yourself. Um, uh, one of my AW Custom Designs original uh, pocket slips. And today it is carrying briar patch jack I've fallen in love with this knife too um, I'm I'm crazy about the equal ends um, I love equal ended jack knives or or just equal end cigar pattern in general um, but this one uh, of course this was rose clap uh, can't talk rose craft blades first knife with two blades um, it's got the clip point, as you can see. Very nice looking clip point. <clears throat> and it came with a lamb's foot. And lamb's foot is fine. It's a, it's a good looking blade. Um, with this one, it kind of stuck up a little bit. So when you were using the clip point, you, you've got a little hot spot if you were to use the knife, you know, heavy or for a long period of time. Um, but I have uh, ground that down to a worn clip now and I added the, the swedging at the top just to kind of make it look like it was, it was factory that way. Um, these forward facing cameras don't don't work as good as the, the backwards one um, but uh, yeah so uh, that is the briar patch jack with a customized or modified worn clip and I like it so much better um, like I said when you're using this blade the lamb's foot came up to a point and then cut back in, you know, like a normal lamb's foot. But when you, you grabbed it with my finger, I had to kind of spread these fingers to kind of, kind of go around where the point would have been. So um, it's a lot smoother now. I can, I can, you know, grab the blade or the, the handle with, with some force now if I wanted to. Um, and yeah, you still feel it because you see it sticks up a bit, but uh, it's not a point sticking into your finger. So I like that. Um, very easy to do if anybody wants to try it. Um, I just use uh, just one of my cheap Harbor Freight belt sanders. Um, it's, what is it, a one by 30 or something like that. I want to say I might have had 400 grit on it. Um, but I just marked it with a, a marker where I wanted it and just started going. Um, I'm not afraid to try things. Uh, I, I think I had this knife for a day before I, before I, I modified that blade. 
Um, but uh, I like it. I like it a lot more now. Like I said, I loved it when I got it. I mean, the the transitions, the bone, the bone is beautiful. Um, that smoky gray bone or gray smoky bone. I don't know how they they word it, but it is. It's a very beautiful knife, and I'm uh, waiting for that um, Nola Chucky Jack that should be here tomorrow. So I I'm very excited about that one. I've been as soon as they announced that, I, I just it went on the list. So uh, Rosecraft is killing it. Um, if you haven't picked up a Rosecraft blades, they're not very expensive. Yes, they're made in China, but uh, I, I hear people comparing them to um, the likes of GEC. I don't have a GEC, so I'm not comparing them. So nobody, uh, you know, start bashing me in the comments. But um, when it comes to pricing, um, I'll, I'll buy Rosecraft all day long. Um, I love them. They're snappy. Uh, every one that I've gotten has been centered. Uh, like I said, transitions. Uh, it's, they've just been perfect. I could literally say they have come perfect. Um, not a problem wrong with them. And uh, again, I love them. Rosecraft, you're killing it. And uh, you're killing all of our pockets. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Other than my cheapo flashlight, um, you know, low high strobe, uh, my Victorinox um, climber, and that's about it. Wallet, keys, chapstick, sunglasses. Um, yeah. I said this was going to be quick, but this was 12 minutes long. Jeez. Sorry about that. Hopefully you stuck around. Um, I'll catch you next time. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. As always, I love talking to you. Um, and uh, love getting to know everybody in the community. It's the best community that I've been part of. And uh, I've, I've been in a couple, and I just... I'm loving it here, and I don't uh, foresee myself going anywhere soon. So, hopefully y'all mind me hanging out and sticking around. Thank you.